CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is with us. So O.J. Simpson will appear via video conference. What does he need to demonstrate to the parole board? Remorse, of course. And what you have, we'll have four parole board members. You'll have Mr. Simpson. They will have a question and answer session. He must show not only why he is sorry for what he did, but he must show he is rehabilitated from what he did. How do you do that? Yes, he can do no, that. No, no, how do you do that? How do you do that? He can do that by just taking responsibility, which he did in 2013. In addition, you have other witnesses. You have the victim in this case who is prepared to testify in favor of Simpson's parole. He also needs to show what are his plans for the future. You know, they don't let people out willy-nilly. Where are you going to live? How are you going to support yourself? Who's going to be there for you? And he has the ability to do that with the person who is coming to say he'll live with him and his family. Plus, he's, mo plus he's been a model prisoner, they say. Model prisoner, indeed. There is a graph. This is done by status and by dynamic factors. There are 11 factors that a board considers. It's a grid. And by all estimation, the lower your score, the lower your risk. Any person in his situation, the percentages are that 82% of people in Nevada will get paroled at toward their minimum sentence, his is a minimum of nine to a maximum of 33, were they in his situation. How long will it take us to get a decision? Very fast. We're going to have a hearing, they'll recess briefly, and then they will come back with a decision. Thank you so much, Richard. Yeah. Thank you. Have you here. Yeah. We'll bring you live coverage of the parole hearing. <clears throat> excuse me, in a CBS News special report. It is scheduled to begin at 1 p.m. Eastern, noon Central.